It's great to have your company this Tuesday, the 13th of July. I'm Jessica Ramirez, Senior Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Well, ahead of US banks reporting results and ahead of the federal chair speaking about interest rates and stimulus, all three of the US indices marched ahead to brand new record all time highs. We saw the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones up the most, 0.4 of a percent. Now, what's really important to note is the S&P 500 companies are expected to produce the strongest set of earnings numbers that we've seen since 2009 because earnings are expected to rise 65 percent but wait there's more expectations are here for companies to also upgrade forward earnings which supports further share price growth but there's always risk and the risk is that if company results are disappointing and if they disappoint the market, then we could see a small pullback. But what to watch today for us? Earlier, the futures were suggesting the market will rally up 0.3 of a percent, adding to yesterday's rally. You might expect banking stocks to be in the spotlight today following Wall Street. Plus, also keep in mind, today the federal government will be unveiling financial support for those suffering amid the New South Wales lockdown. Secondly, what to watch today? Will this market rally yesterday? The market rose 0.8 of a percent. That was our best gain in about a week. It was mainly thanks to iron ore stocks. So that puts the microscope back on iron ore stocks again. Now, what will help iron ore stocks today and likely this week is the iron ore price is back in record all-time high territory. The iron ore price rose 0.7 of a percent overnight to $217. So needless to say, say Aussie iron ore stocks, they're bullish again. BHP, for example, their shares rose 3.7% yesterday. That was their biggest one day jump since May. Now, these technical indicators are suggesting uh, that they were flagged yesterday, by the way. They're suggesting BHP could move higher. Keep in mind, we could see a bit of profit taking, though, given yesterday's sizable jump for BHP. Either way, the technicals are suggesting we should see medium term to long term share price growth. Now, this is all despite concerns that China may not want to buy our iron ore. Well, we know Australia has been sending our iron ore increasingly to India, but regardless of where iron ore is going, the iron ore price is increasing, and that's because of demand for steel around the world to build roads and buildings. Plus, there's also lingering supply risks with Vale's dam in Brazil at risk of another collapse. Now, the third element to watch today that could move markets is economic news. Business confidence today out for June. Tomorrow, consumer confidence data out. So if the numbers are better than expected, the market could rally. If the numbers are weaker than expected, you might see a small pullback. Today, we'll also learn about new home sales if sales continue to grow in June following on from May. Now, Trading Economics expects sales numbers, new home sales to rise by 20% following May's jump. Now, the fourth element to watch today, the most traded stocks from yesterday. CSL was one of the most traded stocks at Bell Direct and CSL shares rose 1.3%. Another stock that was in the spotlight was Minres, Mineral Resources, MIN. They're an iron ore stock um, and they were one of the most traded and they rose over 4% yesterday. And lastly, trading ideas that could be worth a look. Well, City has earmarked Wes Farmers, W-E-S, as a sell. Why? A couple of reasons. Uh, well, this is following the stronger than expected growth of Bunnings, but yesterday they announced a bid to take over API. Now, City says West Farmers is a sell with a $45 target. That implies its shares will fall 22%. Why? Specifically, West Farmers um, takeover offer for API, which is a cosmetics procedure business, and they're also the owner of Priceline for $1 billion. Well, City says that was a bit disappointing. Uh, West Farmers uh, was actually expected to return their excess capital to shareholders via a share buyback, which would support share price growth. But City says it sees little synergies in this takeover, especially in a post-COVID world. But interestingly, on the other side of the coin, a Credit Suisse says that API's takeover offer could offer long-term share price growth for Wes Farmers. But for now, Credit Suisse says Wes Farmers is a hold. It downgraded Wes Farmers 
with a $57.23 price target. And lastly but not least, according to Trading Central, bullish charting signals have been seen in Vulcan Energy VUL for D Medical FDX and Fisher & Paykel FPH. I'm Jessica Ramirez. Stay safe. Happy trading.